let's see what the definition of demand is demand means the various quantities of a given commodity or a service which consumers would buy in one market in a given period of time at various prices or at various incomes or at various prices of related goods now important things to note here is demand means various quantities demand means quantities purchased demand means the quantities that the consumer is willing to buy willing to purchase of a commodity or a service which consumers would buy which consumers would buy in one market in a given period of time at various prices or various income levels or prices of related goods as we've discussed demand is always expressed in terms of in terms of price and in terms of period so demand is various quantities that a consumer is willing to buy in a given period of time and at various prices now these are two very important things here because demand is different at different levels of prices we purchase different quantities at different price levels let's say we are purchasing a good x and the price for this good is different 10 rupees 15 rupees 20 rupees 25 rupees and 30 rupees now when the price of this good is 10 rupees i may purchase 100 units of this product but when the price increases to 15 i suddenly reduce my consumption to 85 units and the price increases to 20 i reduce my consumption to let's say 65 and when the price increases furthermore to 25 rupees i decrease my consumption to 40 and finally when the price is 30 i may buy only 15 units of the same product so now what is happening is i am demanding different quantities at different price levels different quantity at different price level so demand is always expressed in terms of price and at various price levels again during a period of time during a particular period of time as i told you the time period may be a day may be a week may be a month may be a quarter may be 6 months may be a, any any period of time there are other factors also which go into demand they are various income levels now how is demand affected by income is it affected by income yes it is let's take an example when my income is 10000 rupees i purchase 10 units of this good x when my income rises to 15000 rupees i purchase 15 units of this good when my income is 20000 rupees i purchase 20 units and when my income is 25000 rupees i purchase 25 units of this good now what is happening as my income level is rising my consumption level is also rising when my income is increasing i am trying to purchase more and more of the same good i am trying to increase my consumption i am trying to purchase more so income also affects demand because 
when the income increases when the income rises people have more money at their disposal so they always try to spend it and when they spend it the demand increases and finally prices of related goods now this is a point worth noting demand is not only driven by the price of the product the price uh, demand is not only driven by the price of the product the income of the person it is also driven by the price of related goods now, what do you mean by related goods related goods are those goods which are in some way or the other related to the product in consideration related to the good in consideration let's say we talk about car is petrol in any way related to car is consumption of petrol in any way related to purchase of car or is purchase of car in any way related to consumption of petrol yes they are related because more and more cars purchased will lead to more and more petrol being consumed so i can say petrol is a related good of car likewise can i say tea and coffee are related yes i can say tea and coffee are related how if more and more tea is consumed less and less of coffee would be consumed higher the quantities of tea lesser the quantities of coffee and lesser the quantities of tea are consumed higher would be the quantities of coffee that would be consumed so again i can say that tea and coffee are related they are dependent on each other now when we consider such goods their prices also impact the goods considered in our example in case of car and petrol if the prices of petrol rise people tend to purchase less number of cars so demand is being affected by the price of related good again when the price of tea rises people tend to increase the consumption of coffee again the price of tea is affecting the demand for coffee so we can summarize demand as various quantities bought at various price levels or at various income levels or at various prices of related goods during a particular period of time this is what demand is